Hi, welcome back to Inside Weiermann, our video series that brings our mold house to your brew house. Today's topic is biological acidification in the brewing process. But I forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> But that does not matter, does it? By now you should know me. <laughs> I'm Axel. <laughs> I'm the international, one of the international customer consultants here at Weiermann. <laughs> You ask yourself, why does the brewer have to adjust or look into the pH? Well, first of all, the pH is helpful in the mesh ton um, because if you have your mesh uh, lowered in the pH to around 5.5, uh, you do have an optimum for the beta amylase to work. Um, therefore, you get a very nice yield out of the malt. Um, you're also getting Uh, in light beers, uh, a beautiful protection against oxidation. Later on in the, in the beer, it does give um, a better foam stability. Uh, the nutrition of the yeast are working better at that um, um, correct pH. So certainly it's something you should be looking at. How do you adjust the pH in the mesh ton? Well, a natural way to adjust the mesh pH is using a sigillated mold of Weiermann. Um, It is a natural acidified um, uh, base malt. It's um, acidified with the homofermentative lactobacillus. Um, we spray a starter culture in the, um, um, onto the green malt and then on a natural way the lactobacillus are propagating and the kiln is then later on drying that malt and making the lactobacillus inactive. Um, so it is a perfectly natural um, acidulated malt and you can use it in your malt bill um, as a ballpark figure between 1% and 5%. Yeah. So depending on your um, residual alkalinity of your water, you can say, well, I need 2% or 3% of acidulated malt. And as a rule of thumb, um, 1% of acidulated malt will reduce the pH by 0.1. Yeah. So that's just a ballpark figure. And the benefit of looking into the correct pH is that a pH of 5.5 is the optimum for the beta amylase and therefore that can really convert uh, and, and get a great yield out of your malt bill. It also uh, protects against um, oxidation in light colored beers and later on it has a lot of benefits towards the beer but we'll speak with that in a minute. So. What is this then? Well, this is our um, sour word extract. It is our product that can be used in the brewing kettle. Obviously, once you are having uh, the pH adjusted in the mesh, you no longer have the means of putting another malt in it. So therefore, you need something that can be put into the kettle, which is our sour word. And you can see it is a liquid malt extract and you are then adjusting the pH in the kettle um, so that there is a perfect isoelectrical point for the uh, protein. Keep in mind while using a sigillated uh, malt um, you are adjusting to 5.5 pH and in the word kettle with the um, A sour word, you adjust to 5.2 to 5.4. And um, so what is the best practice? When are you, am I using this or that? Well, first and foremost, it is important to adjust the mesh pH. Punct. You know, that's, that is required. That has the most benefits of it all. And if your water quality and your whole setup is as good as it can get, um, this will be sufficient and you're done with it. But if you need an additional adjustment in the kettle, you are then using the sour word. So that is sort of the rule of thumb. And um, so can I use these products to create sour beers? Yes, you can. Um, it is a way to naturally acidulate also 
the uh, finished product later on, not in the way of dosing it then, obviously, you're not dosing uh, grain, but to have the pH already as low that you can then uh, go and start making a Berliner style um, Weisse or you can make a sour beer and such. But um, also it is a good way of lowering the pH in non-alcoholic beers. Um, usually what happens is if you have a fermentation, the pH drops naturally during the fermentation and if you have an alcohol-free beer, you have no natural pH drop because of the lack of fermentation and that way is an excellent addition to use sour wort to adjust the pH to that very pleasant drinkable pH of beers. Thanks for watching Inside Weiermann, our video series, and I hope you enjoyed our little excursion into the pH of word and beer. And uh, we hope you are dialing in again to see the next uh, video of our series. Or if you want to look up the ones that we had before, please visit us in our social media channels. Cheers.